Folks, welcome to another episode of Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I'm your host, Randy Bowser. You know, today I'm really excited because we're fishing out of a place called Chibajau, which is in the very top of the Yucatan, and I have crossed through this area numerous times, and I've always wanted to fish here, and today I get the opportunity to fish here. Fishing with uh, uh, a new captain today, Augustine, and I've got my Captain Gary here with me. So folks, we're gonna go see if we can catch you some bigger fish today. So stay tuned, we're fixing to go fishing. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yozerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar. And Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. shoreline trolling here. Augustine said there's some tall grass up here in front of this hotel. We're gonna troll through it, see if possibly there's some big uh, barracuda or even some uh, snook. So that's what we're trolling for. And then we're gonna work into, uh, we've got three other areas we're gonna try. We're gonna work inshore. There's a couple of uh, inlets that go inshore. The tide's coming up right now, so we're just gonna do a little shoreline trolling until that tide comes up a little more. Now we're just gonna keep on fishing. Hopefully we catch you guys some fish. Stay tuned. All right, trolling along here, the beachfront. These Yozertis, Gary's got them a, a little picuda. Hoping for something a little bigger. A nice little barracuda. I had a couple attacks just as well. All right, go ahead and lift it up there, Gary. So we stopped trolling, we just wanted to sit on top of this grass here, throwing the DOAs, and here he's got him a little bargo. We call that a little snapper, a whippa snapper. All right, Gary. Good job, good job. Those are bueno for the ceviche. Okay, bueno, all right. Yeah, we got some. All right, Gary's got him another fish. What do we got? Got any size to that one? That looks like Corbina. Got us a quarter being a speckled sea trout. All right, we'll let uh, Augustine get him into the net. There you go. Nice. Good job, Gary. That's a good job. Thank you, well. All right, Gary, you gonna let me catch any fish today? <laughs> <laughs> nice quarter being a que bueno. Muy bien, Gary. Go ahead and regreso eso. Yeah, we'll regreso eso, see. Sí. Catch our mascara on this. For lunch. So folks, what we're doing here, we're, we're right against the shoreline here. There's some, about four foot of water, but it's all grass. And the corvina, which is the trout, the uh, snook, plus many other species, they live in this grass. And so we're just gonna stop, we're gonna throw these terrorized first, see if we can catch us a few more fish for y'all. Here we go. All right, Gary's got him another one. Oh, another little snapper. A whipper snapper. Why don't you just release that one, buddy? <laughs> All right, another little fargo. That one's a little smaller. All right, the fish are getting smaller. We gotta look for something bigger. All right, on. So this is the entrance to the second bridge that leads back into the back of the mangroves. We're gonna work our way back into there in just a little bit. We're gonna set the anchor right here and kind of throw into this water here and see what we uh, might be able to catch.
know, the water's definitely moving. Tide's coming in. We can just get the boat to slow down a little bit. We can make some casts in this canal. Well, Gary's got another one. <laughs> ah, it's a ladyfish. We call this a poor man turkey. A little jumping, hard fighting ladyfish. In Spanish, we call them macabi. Not much good for three, but a good, good uh, cut bait. Got a little bigger one. Oh. Yeah, that's what you want. So this is the, another creek coming off to the to the right side. After we went through that tunnel, we went to the left, and there's pretty much shallow water over there, and a bunch of mockaby, a bunch of ladyfish. Let's see if we got anything over here. Your pins are always in a solid leak, but I bet. All right, well, Gary just had just a little baby. Watch, watch out. A little baby sabalito. See him up there? They're up there feeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be. Wait, that's. Ay, come on, come on. Uno sabalito. Alright, so we got some little baby tarpon rolling through here. Let's see if we can get one on. Ooh, he went for it. He went for it. Just sit right here. Look, I got a school of right. Got it. Ah, come on. Come on, little Sabalitos, let's get one on. Make you famous on the TV show. Well, folks, uh, I have to say that was kind of discouraging. Uh, we came down here, we fished some really fishable areas, and you know, we caught a trout and some barracuda and a couple little snapper. Seen those small little tarpon right back there. I had one on, Gary had one on, but they, they come right off there, such little jumpers, so. Well, I just don't know what to say. I uh, might just make a trip back here on another day and finish this show out and hopefully catch some fish for y'all. Folks, welcome back to day two, part two of our Chavi Hao San Crisanto fishing adventure. You know, when we were here last week, it was very interesting. We did catch some fish, nothing spectacular. So we're gonna give it one more shot here today. And we're gonna do something just a little different. We're gonna try to, uh, we're gonna see if we can just troll here in the entrance of the port. Um, 
for some snook. The incoming tide's coming in, but then I think I'm gonna try to make my way back down to that second bridge and scoot into there to where we saw the uh, tarpon last week. So y'all, stay tuned. We're fixing to go fishing once again. made our way back into this creek, the inlet, through that second bridge where we uh, saw the tarpon, the little baby sabalitos. So we're right in that area. Gary's got one on. Ah, oh, so see anything, of course, this boat's going to go right on top of everything. All right, Gary got him a little. Did you get another? My God. Here you go, Gary. <laughs> All right, come on that uh, Dio terrorize. There he goes into the boat. All right, we'll see if we can just sit right here. We'll make some casts. So we're kind of checking some more of this inlet into the mangroves that we didn't get to uh, last week. With this incoming tide, we've got a channel that we can get the boat through. So we're just going to go explore in, see if we can uh, get some fish on the line, something other than the ladyfish for you. So it looks like it's a little. Alright, on that DOA terrorize. I think my part was a little bigger than yours from the other day, Gary. Here he got him on. Oh, he's a jumper. There's a, there's a bunch of ladyfish right through here. Let's see if we can catch you a bunch more. They're fun to catch. I got you. Oh, I got you, little guy. Oh, I got you, little guy. Give you a chance to get off. <laughs> okay. Well, if y'all want to come down here and catch a ladyfish. There's a bunch of them. Oh no, it's a little baby trout. Look at that. Well, that's kind of cool. Caught something other than a... Something other than a... A ladyfish. A little baby trout. That's probably a yearling. That, that little trout's probably less than a year old. Alright, we'll let her go and get bigger. Probably a school of those little ones out there. They typically will... Stay in a school. Oh, just every single retrieve. It's like pink, 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 pink. Here you got another little one. Another ladyfish? Yeah, another ladyfish. Look at him go. There he goes. Thank you, Gary. Once again, nothing really different from last week. It's a Lady fish kind of day. I think we're gonna call this right here. We're gonna head back to Puerto Abrigo. We're gonna do some trolling inside of the, the port and see if we can get us a, a snook or two. We will see. All right. We made our way back into Puerto Abrigo into the harbor here we're gonna make a couple of passes trolling finish out the afternoon and well let's see we can catch a fish for you come on big snook well gary tell me how bunch of little fish and lady fish huh see <laughs> Wow, I tell you what, two weeks here in a row, and we just didn't produce any big fish. But you know what, sometimes it's not about the fishing, it's about the adventure and the uh, just the exploration. And we did get to see some unique areas that I have always wondered about. 
So uh, we'll get back down here. We'll give it another shot. Don't worry. But uh, we do want to thank you all very much for joining us here on Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico Inshore Fishing Television. Y'all stay healthy, stay safe, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Adios. Well, howdy folks and welcome to the fresh catch of the day and well welcome to Jen and I's kitchen. We are here, we are going to take this big old snook filet. I'm going to show you how we here in the Jen and Randy household cook up our snook for dinner. So the ingredients that we have of course is one big old snook filet. I like to use my Louisiana seasoned uh, crispy fish fry. I also like to use the Zatarins. I'll use a olive oil, and I'm gonna put that into this big old hot pan that I'm gonna turn on right now. We'll get our oil going in there. And then we're going to uh, cook us up some dinner. All right, folks, we're gonna show you how to make a world famous Randy's Margarita. That's right, from right here in the Yucatan. I have three major ingredients that are my favorite. So let's start off with number one. That's, uh, I don't know, a 12, 16, 18 ounce cup. A big one. That's my hand, so you know, you see it. I use a Jose Cuervo Margarita mix, but the two important things are right here. The Liqueur 43, Cuarenta Tres, and the Centenario Tequila. So, just to show you what we do, or what, uh, not we, what I do, and for all my guests that come over, give a good solid pre pour. I want to put about uh, two inches of uh, tequila in the bottom of that cup. Next, 43. 43 just gives it that super sweet taste, and I'll tell you what, you don't even taste the booze. That's why they're world famous. All the family and friends that come down, they always request. Uh, the Randy's World Famous Margarita. There you go, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Good stuff. Fish is cooking. We're going to have dinner here in just a minute, y'all. Stay tuned. Munchie, you're on my chair, baby. Coming for my fish. And Jen's gonna have some fish along with her hummus and bread and blackberries, and I'm gonna enjoy my fish. You can tan anglers TV is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures, the unfair advantage. Yo Zerti, fish the best. Eagle Claw Trocar and Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. So you folks, we are in uh, three, two, three,